Here we are. So buying on Alibaba.com and selling on Amazon FBA, is this still worth it in 2023? Let's find out. So first thing first, I'm David. I'm the owner of Growth Hack Consulting. This is our YouTube channel. We share a lot of tips, news, strategies on how to sell on Amazon. We are recently focusing on optimizing listings, SEO, rank your products on Amazon. And we talk about many different things. If you've been following us for a while, you've seen that we have talked about Chinese sellers in our blog. and. Uh, how to rank on Amazon, how to do PPC, uh, a bunch of stuff. So I definitely encourage you guys to take a look at our blog. We're also talking about this very topic more in depth, buying on Alibaba and selling on Amazon. If this is actually still worth in 2023, how it works and how you can take advantage of that or if this is still good for you how can you use alibaba for should you be using alibaba to source your products on amazon or what kind of use should you make of alibaba let's see so before we start what is alibaba in case you don't know what alibaba is alibaba.com is pretty much the main platform to source products from china with its huge database of trusted suppliers from china now regarding the trusted we will get back there in a while but for now just know that alibaba when it comes to b2b business to business not business to consumer for that one you can go to aliexpress.com but when it comes to business to business you definitely want to go and check your products on alibaba i have personally tried alibaba.com there are a few pros and cons so we are here to discuss today if you can actually still or if it's worth buying your products from alibaba and selling them on amazon so if you go and browse through alibaba you can find pretty much everything that is made in china and uh it's, it's just good. It's amazing to find a lot of products that you can bulk source with good prices that you might want to resell on Amazon. This is good for private labels for third party sellers, but it's definitely not the case if you want to make your own brand. And this is going to be the critical point in our topic today. So the first thing about Alibaba is why Alibaba is so particularly appealing and attractive is because it's super easy to use. You just type in a kind of product that you want to source, that you want to buy, and then potentially resell on Amazon or in other platforms. And it just gives you everything. It gives you pictures, it gives you information about the supplier. Not, It doesn't disclose entirely all the information about the factory, but it gives you enough, enough information about the minimum quantity order, the MOQ. It gives you information about the use of the product. It gives you information about when you're gonna get this product, how much it's gonna cost you, and it puts you in touch with the, with the supplier, meaning that you can chat with the supplier and you can potentially negotiate a better price for bulk orders. The second thing that makes Alibaba so particularly appealing when it comes to selling products online in your country is that you can ship products directly from Alibaba, in our case, directly to Amazon warehouses. And this makes things very easy, but you have to consider a few things. First of all, Alibaba doesn't really do quality check, quality inspections. And especially if this is your first order, or even if you're repeating orders, you should definitely do your quality check because the last thing you want to get on Amazon is products that don't really match with the description, that have quality issues, and they are pretty much going to cause a lot of problem for you. They're going to get your listing suspended, probably you, even your entire account suspended. So you definitely want to avoid this. You want to have quality check uh, on the products you sell, especially from a supplier that you don't know. Also, one more thing, if you're already selling on Amazon, you might know that Amazon has got particular ways of dealing with incoming products. You have limitations on how many products you can send to the Amazon warehouse and you have requirements for each kind of product that you're selling on Amazon FBA. Sourcing products from Alibaba and reselling them on Amazon might seem to you like the, the best way to make a quick win to actually start your new business. But we have to consider today that Amazon right now is not anymore a place where you can just slap your products without a brand, without a label and just make a lot of money on that. It just doesn't work like this anymore. It probably used to be like this. I know a few sellers that I used to talk with when I was in Shenzhen, I was giving speeches and they were literally telling me that they were visiting factories in China. They were buying a lot of products from China. They would ship them back to the US without any labeling, without any huge marketing, without any branding and make a lot of money on Amazon. This is not the case anymore. I'm so sorry to break your expectation, but this is not working anymore. Amazon today is a complete different game. It's a big platform for brands. Keep this in mind. Customers are expecting quality. They're expecting fast delivery. 
they are respecting good customer service and they're lazy <laughs> they're not gonna browse to the page number three or four of the search results they're just gonna stay on the first page of the results of what they see on amazon and they're gonna select what they think is the best at the lowest price with the highest reviews with the best description this is what it takes to sell on amazon today unfortunately there has been cases of people losing a lot of money by adopting this business model just because they didn't understand or they thought that it would be much easier than it actually is trust me you can lose a lot of money by sourcing the wrong product and selling it on amazon i have seen it myself i have seen a lot of potential clients or clients that didn't understand how this kind of business should be approached and they've just kept buying products putting them on Amazon at the wrong price, the competition was huge and they just ended up losing a lot of money for buying products they couldn't sell on Amazon. So unfortunately this still happens, try to approach this as a real business, do your proper research, don't just try to sell products on Amazon just because you like them or just because you have seen someone online telling you, hey, you can make a lot of money by selling this product from China. I sourced it on China at $5 and I'm gonna sell it on Amazon $50. Yeah sure to sell on amazon you need a brand story you need marketing you need to invest a lot on ppc advertising amazon is a pay to play platform if you're not paying for advertising you're definitely not gonna sell your products you need to know how to rank how to write your listings how to make the images how to build your listing the ebc or a plus content you need to know how to make promotions you need to know how to structure the right pricing and go through the many many promotions so amazon today is a serious business and you need to take it seriously as a business in order to make money why because the competition is huge you just can't slap your products on amazon without any label without any story and demand the sales just to pick up like this is not gonna work like that. There is just too many competitors. The next question you might ask is, is it safe to buy products from Alibaba and selling them on Amazon? Well, Alibaba is quite safe when it comes to trusting the supplier. You have now this base that suppliers display on the product page There is verified supplier. Can we actually trust the reviews on Alibaba? Um, whenever I browse on Alibaba, I just find 4.5 star ratings, 4.8, 4.9 in most of the suppliers. And I don't really find it very easy to access the review section from the product page, but on the supplier page. So this keeps me wondering, are those reviews even all actual legit? Because I used to live and work in China. I used to write a lot about black hat, fake reviews. We have done a lot of interviews, a lot of articles on our blog. The link is down in the description. Check it out. This keeps me wondering, are those reviews even all real? I know that there is a big tendency of Chinese sellers to fake the reviews on Amazon even today, even though Amazon has done an amazing job in wiping off the reviews. I think there is a siren out there. I'm sorry for the background noise. I think they're catching someone today <laughs> talking about bad stuff and bad behavior. So just be careful. Try to talk with your supplier. Try to get a lot of information, a lot of, okay, this siren is getting really, really annoying, right? So my personal advice is get in touch with your supplier. Ask them questions about the products. If you're not sure that the product is good or not, try asking them very technical and detailed questions see how good they reply to those questions and then maybe you're closer to having a better relationship and a better product to supply from alibaba.com one more thing you might want to consider is that not all the suppliers disclose the full address and name of the company or the telephone number so in most of the cases the only way that you can get in touch with your supplier is through the chat on alibaba.com the next thing you might want to know is is it legal to actually source your products from alibaba and sell them on amazon to answer your question straight, yes, it is perfectly legal. There is nothing illegal in buying your products from a platform in China and reselling them in the US or in Europe or wherever you are in Japan, for example. We have talked about Japan many, many times in this YouTube channel. But you have to be careful that depending on the marketplace where you are importing those products because you're definitely importing products, you might be subject to different regulations and certifications and approvals. So you have to make sure that the kind of product that you are importing in the marketplace can be actually imported there. 
Do you need certifications? Do you need approvals? Do you need any kind of documentation? Do you need to run tests? For example, we are seeing that sending products in Japan might be very complicated. So in some particular cases, I do believe that sourcing your products on Alibaba and selling them on Amazon might not be ideal unless you already know what you're doing and you already have those certifications and your suppliers got those certifications. So importing a product that is not approved on Amazon might, might get, once again, your listing suppressed and your entire account suppressed in the worst case. So make sure definitely you do your research first. Also something you might want to know is that if you're sourcing a product that is actually doing very well, and you're actually getting it from Alibaba, that's also not ideal because everyone can get products on Alibaba. And even your supplier, in most of the cases, suppliers from China are also selling on Amazon and other marketplaces. So be aware that if you find the correct niche, and this product is actually coming from Alibaba, I think it might be like a 0.001% of the case, but still there is this case, then it's very likely that someone is gonna sell the same product at a lower price than you on amazon.com. And it's probably gonna be the supplier. The good side is that using alibaba.com is entirely free. It can actually put you in touch with a lot, a lot of suppliers. So what I suggest doing is do your product research on Alibaba. There is a lot of products that you can find on alibaba.com and you can get in touch with a lot of suppliers and many of them are gonna be really, really, really good. So my personal suggestion in this case with my experience in selling on Amazon and talking with a lot of sellers, talking with experienced sellers is see Alibaba as a big shopping mall where you can get an idea of what is hot right now and what you can add to your portfolio of items that you're selling already on Amazon FBA. Try to get in touch with the suppliers, maybe do some small orders from those that you think might be good and try them for yourself. Then if you like them, put them on amazon.com. Do the proper research, do the proper quality check. Maybe go and visit them in the factories in China. Start using Alibaba and try to develop this good communication and relationship with your Chinese supplier. And if you take this seriously, as we were saying before, this can just go at your advantage. To be honest with you, I think that the system of sourcing from Alibaba and selling on Amazon per se could have been very good maybe 10 years ago. But those were the days when Amazon was still very good with sellers that didn't have a big brand uh, on the platform because it wasn't necessary. And I'm talking about 2013, 2014, when I just started doing Amazon, where the cost per click was much cheaper, the, the competition was much lower. You didn't really have a lot of strong brands. The strong brands were starting to come up on Amazon, for example, we know, we all know the story of Anchor, the, the big brand from China that used the exposure that they got on Amazon to actually become a big international offline brand worldwide recognized today. I was personally working for the main competitor, Sun Valley Tech, and we learned a lot along the way. But things have changed today. Also, Alibaba started getting popularity almost 10 years ago. It's when they went IPO in 2014 that more and more people started knowing about Alibaba and they could actually, from the US, from Europe, from Japan, directly get in touch with suppliers in China from any part of the world and source their products from China. But that's exactly when things started changing on Amazon. Since 2014, 2015, we have seen that Amazon is getting more and more serious. The game is getting really serious. It's getting hard, but you can make a lot more money now on Amazon. If you want my personal opinion on how to sell products on Amazon, definitely you have to take this as a serious business. You have to develop your products, you have to do your due diligence, you have to use all the best tools that there are out there. There's a lot of amazing tools right now for Amazon sellers that can help you to search for product niches, for keywords, they can help you optimize your listings. We, we are talking a lot about those tools and also all the ways that you can optimize your Amazon store in this channel. We're talking about AI, we're talking about optimizing listings and rank, we're talking about PPC. So, so guys, definitely check out the link to the full blog post in the description down below this video. Check out our other videos about optimizing your listing, how to build a marketing strategy for Amazon, how to sell on Amazon, how to start selling on Amazon, and you're gonna learn a lot more here. So thank you so much for watching this video. I just wanna keep it very, very short just to give you a quick idea of what is going on right now. If you can actually source your products from Alibaba and sell them on Amazon, let me know what you think. 
Do you think it's still a good business model today? Do you think you can just buy a lot of products and make good money on Amazon today in 2023? Let me know in the comment if you're doing this and you're running a successful business just by staying home and getting in touch with your suppliers in China. I personally think that if you want to run a very successful business, you have to go a step further. You have to develop a good relationship with your supplier. By the way, guys, if you have made it so far to this video, please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, leave us a comment. It would really help us a lot. I would really appreciate this. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Cheers.